What's up everybody and welcome back to a next video. Today we're hopping into the eighth episode of the fifth season of Game of Thrones called Hard Home. Uh, last time we had, um, Jorah ended up uh, bringing, or fighting his way to get into the sight of the queen to bring Tyrion. So he is the gift from the last episode. So we'll see how all that goes now that... Yeah, we're, we're going to see how all this goes now. Um, how is she going to deal with Jorah, with Tyrion, with this whole thing we're going to see. Um, we also had Sansa, who is trapped uh, in Winterfell. And she's trying to get out. She's trying to get word out that she needs help. Uh, she's getting beaten and bruised and raped and everything else by Ramsay, who's awful. Um, so... We'll see what happens there. We also had John go north to talk to the wildlings to try and make peace so that they could fight together and survive with the ice zombie people coming. Um, oh, yeah, and the queen got uh, put in jail. Yay, Cersei is getting what she deserves right there. Um, so we'll see how she gets out of it. Um, and, uh, I guess we'll see what's moving forward. I'm excited to see how this whole thing wraps up. We have three more episodes to go this season, and I, for one, cannot wait to hop into it. I hope you guys are, too. If you want to see my full reaction to this episode or any of the other episodes of the series in full, uncut, unedited, please head over to my Patreon page. I'm going to have the link in the description below, or you can hang out right here on YouTube. That's fine. Just be sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. All of that with all the algorithms so that we can help grow the channel and grow this amazing community. So I'm ready to hop into this next episode of Game of Thrones. I know Grogu's ready, so let's get into it. This is the eighth episode of the fifth season of Game of Thrones, Hard Home. Let's go. Okay, I will not speak. <laughs> if you are Tyrion Lannister, why shouldn't I kill you? To pay your family back for what it did to mine. I am the greatest Lannister killer of our time. <laughs> I should welcome you into my service because you murdered members of your own family. We have only just met. It's too soon to know if you deserve my service. If you'd rather return to the fighting pits. Right. Just say the word. One of the two. Pick one. When I was a young man, I heard a story about a baby born during the worst storm in living memory. She had no wealth, no lands, no army, only a name. She was eventually sold off to some warlord on the edge of the world, and that appeared to be that. Mm. Then, a few years later, the most well-informed person I knew told me that this girl without wealth, lands, or armies had somehow acquired all three in a very short span of time, along with three dragons. We thought she was our best, last chance to build a better world. But we were meeting at the very least. <laughs> Why should I spend my time listening to you? Because you cannot build a better world on your own. When I served as Hand of the King, I did quite well with the latter, considering the king in question preferred torturing animals to leading his people. Yeah. He did pretty good. You do an even better job, advising a ruler worth the name. What would you have me do with him? Swore I would kill him if he ever returned. I know. Whomever Sir Jorah was when he started informing on you, he is no longer that man. And yet he did betray you. Long time ago. I mean, that's true. But you cannot have him by your side when you do. Remove Sajora from the city. Oh, man. I get it. I understand it. But at the same time... Damn it. He did everything to try and get back to her. And he's going to die now because of it. Yeah, because of that. So no water for you. Yeah, well, that's what you deserve. Yeah, you deserve that. My name is Lana. When I was eight, I begged enough money to buy my first bucket of oysters. I sold that bucket and made enough money to buy two more. 
Like scamming him, like giving him his money back. The man is a gambler. He wages that a sailor's ship will make it to its destination. It is a strange wager for the captain. He only wins if he loses his life. Hmm. If the captain dies, thin man pays his family a lot of money. Perhaps the gambler loses his bet and decides he doesn't have to pay after all. A destitute woman and her small child. What can they do to such a man if he keeps their money for himself? He's an asshole. That's what he is. A poison? I guess that's gonna be a little bit poison. The Ice Baron will be presenting a substantial case against you. Charges: fornication, treason, incest, yeah. the murder of King Robert. Yep. All lies. Of course you will. But she didn't kill King Robert, though. That wasn't her. My concern was about my son, the king. If you can visit me, then surely the king. Your arrest and Queen Marjorie's arrest. The king has not taken them well. He remains in his chambers. Is a way. A way out. Okay. Elaborate. Words. Confess. Mm. Yeah. No. I made him. Right? Be like, no. I rose him up from nothing. I will not kneel before some barefooted common and beg his forgiveness. Yeah, well, that was your dumbass move to begin with. Because you wanted to get rid of Marjorie. Now look what happened. So he burned them beyond recognition. Your brothers are still alive. Well, I'm impressed she got that much out of him. Yeah, I'd say you, you wait. I say you wait. What are you doing? What are you gonna do? Yeah. That and he killed the woman I love. Or slept with. <laughs> Here we sit, two terrible children, <laughs> two terrible fathers. I'm terrible. I've been It's not possible that Varys was right about you after all. Varys? He's the one who convinced me to come find you. I suspect he's the main reason you weren't slaughtered in your crew. Mm -hmm. Maybe the only person in the world I trust, except my brother. The brother who killed my father. Yep. One. Yep, that one. He's like, I don't care what you do. I don't care. Kill me, not kill me. It's what it is. I'm not going to kill you. Well, that's good. You need to advise me. Mm. While you can still speak in complete sentences. <laughs> He's like, put down the line. This is not my home. When you get back to your home, who supports you? 
House Targaryen is gone. The Starks are gone as well. The remaining members of House Lannister will never back you, not ever. That leaves the Tyrells. Not impossible. Not enough. Lannister, Targaryen, Baratheon, Stark, Tyrell. They're all just spokes on a wheel. I'm not going to stop the wheel. I'm going to break the wheel. Oh, oh, damn. Okay. Oh, all right then. Let's go, Daenerys. But I know it's very smart because she needs to know the world that she wants to rule and to conquer. So, smart to not kill Tyrion. A lot. Okay, he is loyal, that's for sure. She has has cast him out twice now, and he won't leave. He loves her. She doesn't care. Yeah, she's gonna try and drink that water from the ground, isn't she? Uh, wow. Never thought I'd see the day with Cersei was doing this! How far the mighty have fallen! It's about the Lord Commander. Yes. He's going up to Hardhome to save all them wild men. Mm hmm. And? He killed everyone in my village. We've been fighting them for years. This wasn't a fight, we were farmers. Yeah, kind of butchered. So why is he saving him? Wildlands are people. I've seen the army of the dead. Yeah. I've seen the White Walker. That's why. They come in for us, for all the living. Yeah. We need as many people fighting for the living as possible. We'll need every last man we can find. There it is. The That's the reason. John's taking a risk, but he has to. Yeah. We don't stand a chance otherwise. Yeah. Sometimes. A man has to make hard choices. Choices that might look wrong to others, but you know are right in the long run. Try not to worry, Ollie. I've been worrying about John for years. He always comes back. Now I'm scared. Now I'm very, very scared. Oh, this is a warm greeting. You trust the Johns now? No. Does that make me a fool? <laughs> <laughs> we should gather the elders, find somewhere quiet to talk. You thought if the authors here are not giving an order, why aren't you in chains? We're allies. You fucking traitor. Okay. Okay, okay. No, no, no. We need to talk. We're not here to fight. We're here to talk. And when you're done talking, do you get down on your knees and suck it? Oh, oh damn, oh damn, oh, oh, Torban, oh my god. I said we're here to talk. Gather the others. <laughs> you kill him? Wow. Now that was an order. This is about survival. Yeah. This is about putting a 700 foot wall between you and what's out there. You built that wall to keep us out. The White Walkers don't care. If a man's free folk called Crow, we're all the same to them, meat for their army. But together, we can beat them. Dragon glass. It's a gift. For those who join us. The, the dragon glass, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Dragon glass. glass. Yeah. Come with me and I'll share these weapons. Come with you where? There are good lands south of the wall. The Night's Watch will let you through the tunnel and allow your people to farm those lands. I knew Man's Raider. He never wanted a war with the Night's nice Watch. He wanted a new life for his people, for you. We're prepared to give you that new life if you swear you'll join us when the real war begins. I lost my father, my uncle, and two brothers fighting the damn crows. I'm not asking you to forget your dead. I'll never forget mine. The long night is coming, and the dead come with it. No clan can stop them. The Free Folk can't stop them. The Night's nice Watch can't stop them. And all the Southern Kings can't stop them. Only together, all of us. And even then, it may not be enough, but at least we'll give the fuckers a fight. Yeah, let's go! Let's go, John! Nice speech. Nice speech. You vouch for this man, Tom. It's prettier than both my daughters. <laughs> he didn't have to come to Hardhope. He came because he needs us. You need them. We need him. Yeah. 
You need each other for survival. I'll never trust a man in black. But I trust you, Tor. Stay here. We're dead men. At least with King Crow. There's a chance. Dorbo. <laughs> as soon as you get on his ships, I'm gonna slit your throats. Dunk your bodies to the bottom of the shivering sea. That's our enemy. That has always been our enemy. So... Was that a... Yes or a no? He's like, yeah, me too. Seems like everyone's getting on their side, man. Maybe most people are. Okay, so there's a lot that are gonna go. Yeah. Yeah. Survival will do that. Why do you get the old folks on the boat? I'm right behind you, I promise. Why do you get the village she's not? They, every time shows do that. Why do you get the village she's not right behind them? Oh no. I don't like this, I don't like this at all, I don't like this at all, I don't like this at all. Oh my god, my heart is like pounding right now. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. The White Walkers are coming. They're coming, aren't they? They're here, aren't they? Aren't they? You're leaving all those people out there? Oh no. You guys are cold! Let them all through! Let them through! I'm waiting for, like, an arrow to come through or something. Oh! That was a person! It was a White Walker! Oh! Oh my god! 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 Oh my god. Uh, where are the dragons? Yeah, I'd swim. I'm swimming. I don't care how cold it is, I'm swimming. I'm swimming to the other side. Shit. Here they come! Here they come! I feel like I'm watching Walking Dead right now. Medieval times. Oh my god, I just got straight up chills. Oh my god, I just got straight up chills, you guys. Woo! Here we go. Oh my god. Can they swim? That's the question. That's the question. Can they swim? Damn, Joe got all the way up there. And this is why he's the leader. Let's go. We gotta get, let's go. We gotta get the dragon glass. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, that's an awesome winner. Look at that. Oh, damn. Oh, ho, ho, ho. stomp. Oh, that's one way to kill them. Stomp their asses. <gasps> oh my god. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh! Oh! Oh my god! It just shattered the spear axe thing! 
Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. John, get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Oh my god. Ah. Damn it. Oh. Oh, that'll knock the wind right out of you. Where's the dragon glass? You didn't get the dragon glass. Oh. Oh shit, his sword didn't shatter. Oh. Yes. Why is his sword so special? Valyrian steel? Is it also Valyrian steel that doesn't get shattered? Yeah. Oh damn! Kids, the kids. That's so sad. Oh, bam. Okay, you gotta go. You gotta go. <gasps> no. Oh. Yeah, I figured the minute she said, "I'm right behind you to her kids," I was like, "You're not. You're not gonna be." Yeah, let's go back. Let's go back. Oh, yeah, you gotta go. You can't stay any longer. You gotta go. Why are we staring? We need to move. We need to move. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Tormund, let's go. Turn it around. Turn it around. Let's go. And the wall's down. Come on, one, one, let's go! How in the world are they gonna defeat this army? How? Get on the boat! Go, 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 Can you swim? Well, they got off the land. Our heroes did. Yeah, after seeing this, it's like, I, I don't care about whose side you're on. We're fighting an army that doesn't give a shit. No, they're all gonna rise, aren't they? Oh my god, they're all gonna rise up. Fuck. So now everybody that dies is now on that army. That's why you burn them. That's why you burn them so they can't rise up again. No. That's terrifying. Oh my god. Oh, there's no music. Like, nice touch. Alright, let's go and we'll talk about it. Well, that was the eighth episode of the fifth season of Game of Thrones Hard Home. And oh my god, that lasts like 20 minutes. Woo! Like, that was intense. It was insane. It was, it just showed you the magnitude of, why is my phone like buzzing like crazy right now? It just shows you the magnitude of the, um, the dire strain that everybody is in if this army of the dead gets beyond the wall because if they get to the wall it doesn't matter whether you are a wildling or you're a crow or you're from westeros or you're from the doesn't matter they're gonna come and wipe all your asses out 
So y'all better learn how to work together and how to fight together or y'all fucked. Like, and even then, I don't, like, like John said, I don't even know if, even with everybody together, that's going to be enough because the minute that king guy does this, I have no idea what his name is, but you know what, I'm sure you guys will tell me in the comments what his name is, rises his hands. Everybody that was killed is now a fucking white walker. So now half the people that stayed because they didn't want to go fight because they didn't want to get on the boats to go to the other side of the wall. Guess what? They all died. They're now they're not part of the army that is coming to kill all their asses. Like, oh my god. <sighs> so on top of that, we lost dragon glass. So there's some dragon glass that we don't have anymore. And well, we did find out that John is sword, a uh, long claw. I think the name of the sword is um, Valyrian steel. Might be able to do the same thing at dragon glass, I guess, uh, because he went to go swing it, and like all the other swords got shattered. It didn't. It he went. You know, it, it didn't get shattered, and then he plunged it into the the guy and he shattered so um we'll see uh so that was a pretty cool development that we know so now i guess dragon glass and valerian steel are now the two items that can kill these guys uh now i am freaking terrified of this army more than i already was uh and it makes me fall in love with john even more though because he came himself and he could have fled the minute things got hairy but he got in the mud he got he got in there and he started fighting he got on the very front of the line and that's why i think he's a great leader because he's not only a great fighter you know he, he's also he's willing to do what needs to be done in terms of fighting he's not back on his high in his high tower commanding orders like he's on the front lines and i think that right there is why he has risen up in the ranks and why he's lord commander now is because he knows how to lead and he knows how to lead in the trenches and um yeah like that's what makes him such a great character like i like oh my god he's become it's been really cool to see him uh rise in power and also see him grow confidence and and like at first, you know, at the beginning of the series, he's like, "All I want to do is be a ranger." Like, I like that's all I want. Um, and now he's like freaking fighting the army of the dead and trying to convince the you know the um, wildlings to go to the other side of the wall. Like that's a crazy. Um, but now half the army for the wildlings is dead, and now they're on. The White Walker side, so, oh my god, so, like, all of this fighting, make, like, I, it, it doesn't really matter anymore, like, all of this fighting, who's in power, who's in jail, who's not, all this, doesn't matter anymore, you got the army of the dead coming, they're coming, and they don't give a fuck about your politics, and whose side you're on, what banner you, they don't care, they're gonna come in and just slaughter your asses. Um, so, that was very scary, and it definitely... Did a great job of showing you the stakes um, that are there. And good to know, also, they don't swim. So, who's that? Um, everything else it was fine. Um, a lot of status quo. A lot of just... Um, There wasn't a lot of development in a lot of in a lot of the storylines. Um, Daenerys ended up not killing Tyrion. Uh, she wants him to advise her, which I think is insanely smart because he knows Westeros, he knows the land, and he knows how to navigate that world. So it just makes sense um, to have somebody in that world to help you out. Uh, she also banned Jorah uh, again. Um, I still kind of get it, but at the same time, I'm like, damn, man, like, he just has the worst luck. He's not going anywhere. He's still going to fight in the pits. So, 
we'll see if he comes back a third time and she sees. Ooh, she might just kill him then. Um, we also have Sansa found out that her brothers are still alive or at least weren't killed by Theon. Um, and Cersei is still in jail, so yay. <laughs> <coughs> She's getting what she deserves right now. She did not see that coming, that this all would backfire. Like, it was her idea to have these religious people rise in power because she wanted Marjorie gone and she did not see this to turn around onto her. So I like it. I like it. Uh, yeah. So like I said, like, I felt like not too much happened, um, until the fight at the end. And that was insanity. So I very much am looking forward to seeing what happens next. Of course, it is the ninth episode next episode so that's always the big one i am terrified what the hell is going to happen in this one uh i for one can't not wait so let me know what you guys thought about this episode about the the fight um at the end of this one um were you on the wildling side or about you know well we're we're enemies like would, would you if you were in that situation would you join john or would you be stubborn and stay I don't know. I think I probably would have joined John. Um, so, yeah. Uh, if you want to see the full episode uncut, unedited, please head over to my Patreon page. The link is in the description below. Hang out right here on YouTube. Just be sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you for the next episode.